Hello everybody! Welcome back to the SB Game Fun channel and to another episode of Crimes and Punishment with Sherlock Holmes, Mr. Holmes. Alright, the last we left off was right here in this office where we had just picked up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we have to find a use for that broken piece. We still haven't found a use for that. We found the keys. We found a use for that. We found a picture of Hamish, father, and I. So the, the son that Martin Hamish uh, has, I don't know, he hasn't mentioned it, and uh, a, a, uh, a letter to Albert Dunn denying him entry into the Navy due to his father. And that's messed up. All right, so the last person we need to talk to would be good old Margaret White. Is that, is that her name? Margaret, is it? Uh, let's double check. Garden of Margaret White, yes. So let's go query her and see if she has any. Oh. Did we, this door was locked before? Yes, this is a whole new place. Okay. I wanted to go the other way. Let's go back around the other way. We can go through the door on the other side, but I want to go and talk to... Yeah, the nursery. This must be the nursery right here. So let's go talk to Margaret White first, then we'll head to the nursery. So she's in this building. So this is the map. Let's take a look at it real quick. I want to... Double check it. We are here at the seed house. That's where she's at. The nursery was locked and so was the office. So let's take a look. Let's go back in and talk to the seed house. Seed house. To Margaret. Let's see what she might have to say. Are you familiar with the Divine Syndicate? The Divine Syndicate. Does that name mean anything to you, by any chance? Not at all. But it is a very pretty name. Uh, thank you, miss. So she is not familiar with it. She thinks it's pretty. Which is very female. Head into the nursery. Okay. This is the other side of the building. So there must be two sections here. Because this is different than the one on the other side. Okay, so I saw something here. Let's examine. The seeds of plant species are stored here. Sherlock, I mean, Watson. Okay, let's take a look. See if there's anything here. Let's see what the talent detects. Nope, nothing. I don't, he doesn't detect anything. This is the imagination, so I don't want to do imagination. It's not giving me anything anyways. Okay, I noticed this. Can we get into here? Nope. There's some dirt and soils and bags and stuff, so let's, uh, nothing else here. So let's head to the other part. Hey! It looks like Montague Dunn. It is a bust of Montague Dunn. Very nice. Oh, look at that. I am curious if the marble that we found will fit this place. Here it is. 
The marble fragment that we found in the colonial collection room is what they have in common. Aha! Uh -huh. So why is it out here in this rubbish bin? Hmm. And on the other side of the facility, what is this? Right, so let's uh, let's make our walk, investigate. Okay, let's keep looking. Nothing here. Oh, what is that? It's a nursery. These young plants must be delicate if they are kept in the nursery. So this is the heat lamps or whatever it is to help them grow, you know, fake sunlight. So let's take a look on this shelf. Nothing here. Kew Garden Expedition of rare and exotic. Oh, look at that. There's a picture of the exhibition display. Plants from the east, the land of the rising sun. So yeah, you can see that. Looks like my son just popped on to Project Zomboid. Take a look, there's nothing here. I'm trying to read that. Martin Hamish, so clearly this must be his work area. Diplomas. A master's degree diploma. It belongs to Martin Hamish. Certified for outstanding botanical research, Martin Hamish. He's also the grower of the year. An award presented to Martin Hamish for best grower of the year. Hmm. So not only he's a graduate in the botanical research, he's also a grower. Receive accolades. All right. Oh, look at this. Let's, let's make sure that we don't, we're not missing anything. It's a glass case. A glasses case. It is empty. So I assume that's what he has on his face. Martin Hamish's book. A thesis written by Martin Hamish. This area serves as Martin Hamish's office. Yep, so this is Martin Hamish's office space. I guess, so I guess the the other space we saw was the uh, employee space for Albert and Margaret White. All right, let's keep, oh, what is this, what is this? Posters. Exhibition of Garden Plants, April of 1895, the University of Oxford Botanical Garden. What does that say? This unique exhibition alms to educate the public about the development of expertise in horticulture and botanical arts. Examples of transplant adaptations in hostile lands, organized by Martin Hamish. This poster is for an exhibition that Martin Hamish was directing, but it had nothing to do with Kew Gardens. Uh, something horticultural competition. The winner, Martin Hamish. He's a winner of a horticultural this competition. This certificate belongs to Martin Hamish. He won a horticultural competition. Very nice, but he's beginning to show a lot more we get a lot more background on him so I don't know if he is necessarily our killer but he is not certainly a suspect 
Okay, so now we have seen that, so let's do a quick Sherlock talent. Walk around the room, see if we can scope everything out, make sure we have exhausted all probability. see anything there is nothing here but I did see something I need to get out of here there's a window here look at that we can see the interior of the colonial collection room from this window uh, what does that mean No. This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. The outlets. Hmm. Okay, so. We need to have a few conversations. One with Albert and one with Hamish. So let's, let's go and do that. See, we came back this way. We're going back out front. Martin, you still watering those flowers, man? You're gonna kill them. There's too much water. I love the little details. Look at that little valve they put on the on the spray head. That is so bizarre. I'm not used to seeing that kind of valve before. I mean, it makes sense. On and off, right? All right, Mr. Hamish. Tell us about your boy. Oh, the bust. Let's talk about the bust. There is a bust of Montague Dunn in the nursery. A bust? Oh, that old thing. Further proof of that outrageous ego of his. But why in that room, in particular? Oh, I, I don't know. It, it has always been there. Albert's workplace, Albert's hopes, fragments from the statue. It is strange, because I recovered a fragment of the bust inside the colonial collection room. Really? Oh, well, so I am mistaken. It ought to have been removed during the cleanup. This room is so small. Hmm. Do you know who moved it? I have no idea. Surely Mr. Dunn requested it. Do you have any more questions like this? Because fragments of rock are not my responsibility. Evidently. Evidently. Okay. I don't know why we're revisiting the Kew Gardens, but I think there's something that Sherlock is curious about. Mr. Hamish, was someone from your family connected with Kew Gardens? Family? No. I'm the only one with a passion for botany. Photograph. Oh, that was his father? That was father and son. I do not think so. This photograph of you and your father at Kew Gardens suggests the opposite. <sighs> But you have no right to. Do tell us more about your father. He was, indeed, the greatest botanist of his time in the British Empire. He worked together with Montague Dunn until the end of his life. He brought me in at the age of 12. Did he get on well with Mr. Dunn? No, I couldn't say that. They expanded Kew Gardens together, that was all. And it was all my father's work. For Dunn always lived the high life. So Mr. Dunn was not helping your father? Oh, yes, he provided the financial support. And as far as he was concerned, that fulfilled his role. But the worst of it was, he declared himself as the master of Kew Gardens. 
Fame meant nothing to my father. So it was easy for Mr. Dunn to take all the credit. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Hmm. That's interesting. That gives him reason and motive to see Montague Dunn die and be punished for his ill treatment of Martin Hamish's father. He felt his father was brilliant. I don't know exactly the, the word he used, but he clearly thought highly of his father. But he thought poorly of Dunn because Dunn sought the limelight, sought the fame, but it, it didn't matter to his father. That those things didn't matter matter to his father. Well, Mr. Hamish, you're becoming a more likely suspect by the day. All right, so now we get to go talk to Albert about his his uh, the end of his naval career. Albert, Albert. Tell me about your Navy career. I perceive that you are passionate about the Royal Navy. Passionate? No, not really. I like ships, that is all. Are you quite sure? You do not seem to be so interested in plants. It's difficult, that's all. My future is here. It has never been about anything else. Oh my goodness. I was trying to find the key. Um... No, symbol, Q. Albert's hopes. Yes, is it his hope? Branded flowers? No. Hopes. And yet, I know that the Royal Naval College rejected your application. Ah, oh, you truly are as clever as they say. Yes, that's correct. And in fact, my father was strongly against the idea. He did his best to ruin my plans, although I almost did succeed. But my dreams were shattered, Mr. Holmes. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Now, Albert... Albert has motive as well. He did not like his father. If, ha if what is to say... If what Hamish said about what he... What uh, Montague did to young Albert, giving him that presentation, uh, request to do a presentation, and then basically belittled him in front of the audience, causing him to run away in humiliation. Um, if it is true, and he felt true humiliation, he may have a motive to kill his father, but not many people carry through with something like that. I don't think he would kill his father. He seems, tr uh, based on what the game is illustrating for me, he seems truly sorrowful at his, the passing of his father. So I don't think he was motivated. John! John Watson! Stop walking around me! Oh my goodness. Alright, so now we got keys. Let's take a look-see. Toby. We gotta go bring Toby. We got ten minutes left, so let's go find Toby. Back to Baker Street. All right, so, Toby. Watson. Man, not only you get in my way, you're still staring through this telescope, you perv. All right, Toby, let's go. Come on, Toby. We have some work for you to do. Let us go to Kew Gardens. All right, back to Kew Gardens. Let us take Toby to the laboratory. He will pick up the scent of this mysterious substance. Search, Toby. Search. Ah, back into the Toby domain. All right, so we see and smell. So we got 
Toby, you can run. Do you see anything? You know, I like the way they illustrated this. Because a lot, I don't know of all dogs, but the, the thing I hear is that dogs, many species of dogs are colorblind. So they don't see certain spectrums like red. So what you end up getting is some green, greenish thing. So this is why it looks like this. I don't know if it's the, uh, I don't know if you, we can say if it's a, an accurate portrayal, but it's, when I do work for um, presentations for uh, corporations and public agencies, I have done, I have to make sure that I um, scrub the presentation against a color blindness spectrum to make sure that the people in the audience, if they are colorblind, they may be able to at least delineate the details and data that's being presented. So this looks like a something like that. I mean, it's when I turn on that color blindness uh, application, it actually does make things look like this. Everything turns kind of greenish. All right, let's keep doing the Toby thing. Toby, you're a good dog, even though it looks like you're color blind. But again, like I said, I think all dogs are color blind. All right. Oh, look, we're going to the pile of leaves. Is that what's going to happen? What a strange path to take. To conceal a bottle of poison. Ooh. Dig, Toby, dig. Congratulations, Toby. Now let us see what you have found. Look at that. The hidden bottle. This is the bottle that was used in the laboratory. It was buried here. There is still some liquid remaining in the bottle with gold flakes, a tiny caterpillar. Not surprising to see one in a garden, but at the bottom of a bottle. Hmm. All right. So we got some analysis to do. Find the stolen plants, find the plant that killed Dunn, inspect Kew Gardens office and gather information on Montague Dunn, find out who killed Mr. Montague Dunn. So we haven't finished inspecting the building. So we're missing something. Good job, Toby. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. Yep. Okay, so. There is nothing else here, it looks like. So we can stomp all over these flowers, but we can't stomp over this center display here. Very interesting. Okay. So. We need to go do. We need to go do a. An analysis. But I wonder what we missed. Let me walk through this. Oh, come on Watson. Stop walking backwards. Albert, don't worry, I'm just passing through. Let's see if I miss anything. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do the analysis. This is the pond. The hose again. And I now noticed it because it's so dark you can't see it, but now I noticed that spigot head. Alright, so this is the other end of the greenhouse. So this here is the water lily section where Dunn met his 
untimely end. And this door goes to the Colonial Collection. So we do a quick look. We can see that we've examined these spaces already. Yep. There's nothing else here. Oh, I can't jump. I was trying to jump. 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 Okay, so let's, um... Is there anything here? Yes, we got the pot. We got the stain. I fell down. Nothing here. coming down the staircase here there isn't anything that's been examined already all right so let's do one another quick look in this area I'm probably I probably need to go do something else because it may have not popped up the uh, the stuff for me to finish the investigation but I'm just doing a quick run to make sure I didn't miss anything. It does not look like I did. Yeah, and I... Oh, yep, I did that. There isn't anything else here, I don't think. But we'll do a quick walk to... Nope. So we came back here and saw somebody burned. Burned a mask. Yeah, they burned some clothing back here. So there's nothing here, nothing here, nothing there. Was there anything back here? Nothing here, nothing here. Nothing here. I didn't see anything here too, did I? A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. Hmm. Ventilation. It goes into that building. What building is that? Is that the one where he died in? Take a look at this real quick. We're looking across towards the dry tropics building. Okay. Dry tropics. The ventilation goes into that. It gets as hot as gets pumped into the building. The seed house. And I, I recall walking through here with my the Sherlock talent turned on. I don't see anything here now. I mean, I figure if there was something that from that bottle would have popped up. All right, so. so. There was nothing here, I don't think. What is that? Look at those glass pane panes covering up plants. John Watson okay so and now again this takes us back into the nursery the two sections with the bust of Don Montague Don Dante Q Munn 
or should I say Montague done and that's it I think we were only able to do what we could and I guess anything else won't turn up until I do an analysis of the chemicals in that little bottle and we will do that on the next episode appreciate you folks joining me today on another episode of crimes and punishment if you like my kind of goofy content make sure you click on subscribe and click on that bell to get notified when I upload new content and I hope to see you folks back on the next episode. Until then, have a good one.